BikeCAD version 10 features several ease of use improvements. Now, instead of having to open the paint dialog box and search through the long list of components to change the color of an item, we can simply point to the component, right click or control click on a Mac, and choose Change Color from the pop up menu. As I select a new color for the petals, the color of the petals updates instantly. Selecting a color for the frame works the same way, unless the paint scheme for the frame happens to use multiple colors, in which case the paint dialog box is launched. Decals can be directly selected as well. If the decal is outlined, the decal dialog box will launch, allowing you to change either the decal text color or the decal outline color. If the decal is not outlined, then a simple color chooser is presented. If you choose to change the color of an item that is semi-transparent, be aware that all of the colors in the swatches section are fully opaque. To restore some transparency, go to any of the other tabs in the color chooser and adjust the transparency slider. Other ease of use features include an additional option for hiding components. As always, we can pull up the display dialog box and turn off or on the display of various components. However, in BikeCAD version 10, we can now point to a component and choose Hide to turn off the display. Similarly, dimensions can be turned on and off in the Dimensions dialog box, but they can also be hidden by directly selecting the dimension, right-clicking, or control clicking on a Mac and choosing Hide from the pop-up menu. Another enhancement is the option to point at a component, right click and select Change Geometry. If we do that with the crank, the drivetrain dialog box will launch, exposing the contents of the crank tab for modification. We can do the same for the handlebars, disc brakes, etc. If we choose to change the geometry of the frame, BikeCAD will launch the Primary Dimensions dialog box. Be aware that if you wish to change other elements of the frame, such as tubing diameters or tube curvature, you must click the tubing icon to launch the tubing dialog box.